to Critterland. Well, today I'm going to be opening this beautiful Lodge gift set, which I found at Meijer by accident on a Black Friday clearance <clears throat> for $22.50. So I was quite amazed. I had not seen this particular gift set before. You can see it comes with this lovely bunny family. Beautiful color. Uh, this looks like the Easy Buy Bunny family, but in regular, uh, like uh, the more detailed clothing. And this is the lodge that was put out several years ago, but with new colors. It also comes with some exciting accessories, uh, a canoe also in different colors, and this uh, couch, which is a very old style from I think the Urban Life series. And I also love the red color of this oven, which is pretty standard uh, and included in many sets, but I love the red color. Uh, so we'll take a look at this lodge and the bunny family. And I also brought out some other items to compare it to. Uh, here is the regular canoe, so we'll put it side by side with the other canoe and take a look um, also at the newer lodge and kind of compare the differences in the lodges. There's quite a bit packed in there. Here's our little furniture and a little bag there. Right here would be the bunnies. Oh boy. I brought out some other bunnies so we can compare their color. This looks like the front porch with the hot tub. And here is our lodge. Oh boy. I think that's it. So there's a lot of empty, oh, nope, here's the canoe and the railings and ladder. Well, here is everything out of the box. It's our lovely bunny family. Let's take a quick look at them. Oh boy. And I've got a bunch of little bunnies over there, or big bunnies, so we can take a look at their color. They have pink in the ear. Very beautiful. If anyone knows the name of this family, what kind of bunnies these are, I would love to know. I didn't notice it on the package. I'm just not familiar with this family. They look like, they look similar to, uh, in color, to an Easy Buy family of bunnies, a family of three. But I didn't recall seeing the pink in the ear of the Easy Buy ones of this color. Very gorgeous. And there is everything out of the box. So let's put these railings on. This one that goes right here. And then of course this is the hot tub, so this can be lifted. Oopsies. And there you have it. And then these go up here. Well, this ladder goes here. And you can tell one side of the ladder has kind of a flat tread. I think that's the side that points upward. Very nice. This would be a great gift item for kids who enjoy Sylvanian families, calico critters. It's very interactive. It took me forever to figure out. You can stick this like that, and it's a ladder for connecting to other parts. Oopsies, yeah. So you see one of them jets out down here. That's the one that goes in that hole. And then here we have one peg, and that's meant to be swung. Now, careful, because I actually broke this off, and the peg got, like, stuck in here. So this is a little fragile, but it's meant to be opened. And then it can connect to a tree house using the slide, which is pretty cool. All right, we've got all the railings on. 
And here's a quick look at the couch. I like how the, there's a piece of cloth on there uh, like that. Um, it's just really unique and pretty. I do like it. And then we have the oven here. This seems like a thinner plastic. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Or maybe it's just the finish is a little bit more glossy, um, but there's something very different in the feel of this. I, I believe they're using the same mold as the uh, common white and black ovens, but I don't know why it, it just feels different. And then it came with this little pan, which is surprisingly cheap looking for calico critters. Looks like something you could get in a Barbie set. Um, there's really nothing special about it, although it does seem to be the heavier, higher quality plastic. So those are those accessories. And then here is the canoe, which I think is my favorite part of this set. And it's painted blue and red. So here's the other canoe. Bring that over here. And uh, this one is, is much nicer. <laughs> it's got a higher gloss and it's got a little logo there, which is really cute. And I do like the colors, the yellow with the brown trim. Um, now this one seems to be made of the same plastic composite. However, it has a matte finish rather than a gloss and it is red uh, with the blue. The other difference is with the paddles. So these paddles, are painted uh, at the tip here on the paddle along with the Little Canoe logo. Whereas these are the exact same mold, uh, but they are not painted, they are just plain. Overall, I really do like the canoe and it's, it's cool to have some variety. All right, let's go inside the cabin and take a closer look in the cabin. The door opens out. The windows do not open, nor do they in the original one. There are hooks here for a um, hammock, for two hammocks, yet it doesn't include the hammock, and they would look something like this. So what's cool about that is that you don't need a bed. Um, you don't need to put beds in there, which take up a lot of space. Uh, but I never really was a huge fan of these uh, hammocks like right in the middle of the living space. I kind of thought that was awkward. Beautiful big window here. Love that. And then there's a little window over here. So I like that it's raised. I think maybe the kitchen is meant to go over here. Maybe. It's got a higher window. And then up here we have a beautiful little loft space. Now a lot of the space is kind of unusable which is unfortunate. You really can't fit a bed back there. Maybe at one of the small beds or a, a crib. Put this couch here. I don't know where it looks best. Probably looks best over there, but the, the ladder's kind of in the way. You can also put the ladder over here, I suppose, but then you'd have this big open area. Another option is to put the ladder like that. So there you have it. Here's the front. I just really love that red trim. How beautiful. With the blue. This is my favorite place to put the porch. I think it really adds a lot to the front facade of the lodge. But yeah, how lovely is that red detail? Uh, compared to the other lodge, it really makes it pop and just gives it a whole lot of character along with the green roof. So I just really love what they've done. So really quick before I go, I'm gonna show you this other lodge and uh, compare this bunny family to some other bunnies. All right, well, I've got this cabin out with uh, the other bunnies I wanted to compare them to and another cabin here that is more recent. Here is Mother, she's got a gorgeous dress on. The shawl is connected to the dress, it is not removable. Beautiful little bow here. And here is Baby. Oh my gosh, look at those little overalls. How cute. And then here is Sister in her beautiful little yellow and orange dress with a white collar. Very gorgeous. Lovely, lovely. And here is Father. And he's got a one-piece 
suit on. It looks like pants and a shirt, but it's all one piece. And his tail is, like the other bunnies, is molded on. So that's an indication of an easy buy critter. Uh, the uh, standard critters have tails that are uh, separately attached on, um, like little poof balls, whereas the easy buy ones, they are molded into the critter. So as far as the color goes, I thought the closest comparison would be the milk rabbits. Um, but you can see there that this uh, mystery lodge rabbit uh, is more orange, um, whereas the milk rabbits have, well, more of a milky color. This is a nurse from the, the hospital. It's quite an old one. You can see the hands are cupped. So she's got gripping hands um, and kind of a, a brown color. The Marguerite rabbit is uh, more of a pinkish color. And she has a very little, uh, very hard to see uh, design there on her muzzle and pink in the ear. Here is the standard chocolate bunny. These are such beautiful bunnies. They're so common and they, they're, they're widely available in lots of different sets, but they're just so beautiful. I love the chocolate color tip on their ears. And then over here we have some other bunnies. We have the lavender, which is the same color as the chocolate except for the tips of the ears. We have the white bunny uh, with the pink ears and then uh, the sea breeze and cottontail, which are the gray bunnies. The uh, cottontail are a bit darker gray. Um, and then they have differences in their markings on their faces and ears. Uh, so it's great to have another unique rabbit family at Critterland. I was so happy that these were part of this Lodge gift set. How exciting is that? And one question I get most often is, where do I get these sidewalks? People notice them in my videos. Uh, these, along with the trees, are little woodsies. And I think this set is discontinued now, but it's, you can still find it on Walmart, I think, and eBay. And then I also forgot to mention with these canoes, this one comes with a string and life preservers, whereas this one does not have a string, although you could easily add one. It's just standard string with a knot at each end. Um, but unfortunately, the life jackets do not come with this one, although I think these could be made pretty easily with some felt and a little creativity. So here is the new Lakeside Lodge, which was given the same name uh, as this. This was originally called the Lakeside Lodge in the older colors, uh, so that was quite confusing. Um, when I first saw it, my reaction was kind of like, eh, I mean, I really like this kind of more realistic, uh, cleaner look, um, but I do appreciate the aesthetic they were going for, which was like whimsical, kind of fairy tale. It really reminds me of like um, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, maybe what their cabin might look like. But you can really see the difference. Um, and for me, I like, first of all, it's much smaller. So, you know, size wise, it's just, you know, there's really no contest. Um, every time I go to pick it up, I forget that the roof is detachable and the roof comes off. So I really don't like that. The hammocks are quite different. This is the one that came with the original Lakeside Lodge. It's got actual string. It has kind of a realistic look where this is just a solid piece of plastic. Um, and we're very accustomed to seeing solid plastic in toy sets. It's nothing unusual, but we're used to calico critters really going the extra mile with detail and not, um, you know, putting out just kind of bulky, heavily molded plastic and that's kind of what I feel like with this one I just feels like it just kind of came out of the plastic mold um, I do like the door with the acorn on it um, but yeah like the trees and the windows it's a cute idea and I, I get what they're going for I just think it looks a little too much like a toy <laughs> I know it is a toy that doesn't make much sense but I really I prefer this look now, I wasn't planning to get this at all, but the reason I did was because I found it for, I think, $17 total for the gift set, which came with a little critter. Um, yeah, I think it just came with the critter and the furniture that came with it. Um, but I thought that was a stretch to call it a gift set because all it came with was one little baby. 
um, in addition to the furniture. But I love this uh, brick oven. The wood cannot be removed, but the grill can be. Um, but you can see what I mean in here. Like I really don't like how this molded plastic is visible from here. That's cute that the mailbox is there, but it's not highly functional. Uh, and again, you can see this going up. Um, and same with up here, like you see this tree pattern going up um, where you compare that to here and you can see this uh, detail going all the way um, on each side. So it's uh, it's got like a really good molding job on both sides. So you've got that rounded look on each side. And I don't like these pieces here. These are meant to be used to connect um, onto a tree house, I think. Now, I feel like I'm being overly critical, but I think this would be a fantastic playset more for a child, maybe um, ages like four or five years old. They would really have a lot of fun with this because I could see, you know, there's a lot of playability. There's a little thing here, uh, a balcony, and it makes sense to remove the roof so that the critters can fit up there. Um, this is a little slide. You can open the trap door. So they really think about playability with, with these sets, and I appreciate that. And they've stated before that they do not make these for adults. They make them for children. So that's an important thing for me to remember that they, are not, they don't have a collector in mind. Um, but at the same time, I do think that the attention to detail is important for their brand and to be consistent. Um, you know, over the years, uh, they, you know, parents appreciate the quality when they buy it for children, as well as collectors who buy it for themselves. Um, so that's my uh, honest opinion on this new lodge compared to the, uh, well, this is also a new lodge, but you know what I mean, compared to this older mold uh, lodge. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Uh, what do you like or dislike about either of these lodges? or the gift set in general. Uh, do you think it was worth uh, the price? I definitely think for $22.50, it's a, an enormous bargain. I'm very, very happy with it. I do have a couple little gripes. Like if I were to have paid you know, $60 for this set, I definitely would have not appreciated uh, skimping on um, some of the details on the canoe. I would have appreciated receiving uh, some hammocks and a little more furniture, I think. Um, but yeah, for the for twenty two fifty, I think it was really a steal, especially to get the family with it. Well, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you next time.